Hey everyone, it's Neil and Thomas from Neil.pod. Yes, we have rebranded in case you hadn't noticed it yet. We're no longer Neil.blog. We are now Neil.pod. And today we are super excited because we're going to be recording the very first episode of the second season of Neil.pod. Can you believe it? This is already the second season. Like it feels crazy. 2025 is upon us. We're getting all the yeah. news already. And we're only on the 5th, 5th of September at time of recording. Like, yeah. there's a lot to get through. Uh, and we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> no, exactly. I was actually thinking about this earlier. Like, it feels weird that we're going to be doing the first, because this is also the first episode of the Eurovision 2025 season, which feels weird because we're still only 2024. So it, it's a bit of a mind fuck here. Yeah. But, um, I'd- and also, 2020, Eurovision 2024, although it also feels year, like it was years ago, it still also feels like it was two weeks ago, like, at yeah. the same time. Like, a bit of both is going on there for me anyway. Yeah, I mean, it it basically only has been about three, three, half, three and a half months since Something. Eurovision ended. So it hasn't really been. If you consider the fact that, you know, we talk about this, we start, we start this in September, like we're doing right now. So that's months of talking about Eurovision and then all of a sudden it finishes and you just sort of lose all sense of what time is after that. You're just basically waiting until the new season starts. But it is <laughs> the very first episode of our second season and the very first episode of Eurovision 2025. And we have had two, we can say, major announcements. So I would say one three. of them. Three? Okay, I'm missing one. Let, let me just name two and you can you can name the third okay. one that I'm forgetting about, apparently. Um, first of all, I think maybe one of the most important ones is the fact that we do have a host city, which mm-hmm. I don't remember. I think it's quite early on. Um, um, I don't know when the host city was announced last year. I think it was maybe around a similar time, but what I do really? remember about last year is they did tickets really quickly. Um, they yeah. did live quite early, so who knows what's going to happen. But as Thomas says, we have a whole city. Uh, yeah. Have you been before to, um, it's Basel. Is it pronounced Basel uh, yeah, or Basel, Basel? Basel, I have no idea. When I say Basel, it makes me think of the herb that you put in tomato sauce, which I love. Uh, no, I've actually never <laughs> been. <laughs> is this, is, this is becoming a food pot. <laughs> I mean, I love food. Who doesn't love food? Um <laughs> But yeah, I, I've actually never been to Switzerland, like, period. I've never been to Switzerland. I've always wanted to go, but it's fucking expensive. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that is the only reason I have never been. I have been to Austria. I do kind of, I do love um, mountains and stuff like that. So that, like, when you see videos of Switzerland, nature is just insane. So yeah. at, someday I will be going. Um, sadly, I do not think I will be going to Basel or Basel or however we should really look up how to pronounce the name of the city no because like this is just like I think it is a Basel yeah okay let's let's stick let's stick with with Basel let's stick with Basel so we are going to Basel for Eurovision 2025 um we're not that's we're not we're not we we might meet up for Eurovision somewhere but I I doubt it'll be Switzerland um but um, unless you guys want to donate to us (laughs) Yeah, if you, I, even then, babe, like I said, I, I might not even make it to Manchester. Uh, I still have to yeah. check with my with my uh, brother. Um, okay, I'll which, I'm your not, personal life this, out. Yeah, <laughs> has nothing to do with this podcast whatsoever. Um, so what are your first thoughts on Basel? So we basically, we had Geneva and Basel. Those were the two mm-hmm. cities that were shortlisted. Um, we know that Netta has once again failed to... <laughs> guess the right city um so the street continues so how are you feeling about basil i i'm just coming back quickly to this net up thing at what point do you think eurovision are just feeding her the wrong one to say or yeah. like, <laughs> like how much do you think they just know um but no yeah. i uh I, I found it quite funny because as soon as she said that, I was like, well, where's Basel? Um, <laughs> no, I don't really know a lot about Switzerland um, as uh, anyone who was at Glasgow's Junisse uh, Party, Gine, the Glasgow thing, um, the Party Passe-moi, that's it. Oh, you're talking about Celine Dion. Okay, the song, yeah. Yeah, but um, there was a Glasgow event with, that shares its name, uh, 
there was a okay. Switzerland Eurovision quiz and we came last. Um, so I don't know anything <laughs> about Switzerland. Um, from what I saw in that little video clip they released, it looked really nice. It made me sort of be like, oh, I wish I was going. Um, yeah. Sadly, uh, the funds just are not there this year. Um, but it does look good. Um, I, I'm, I've i seen pictures of the inside of mm. the arena and it does look maybe a bit oddly sized. And I'm like, it, I think it's all going to depend on what they do with the yeah. stage. But I'm sure they'll make it work. Um, yeah. I mean, if anyone has the funds to come up with a good stage, it should be Switzerland, right? So I'm crossed. not worried about that. Uh, but no, it looks good. Um, and I think from what I've read, there's some nice plans in place for different cultural events and stuff like that to coincide as normal. So I think all in all, um, Switzerland could be really good. And also it's just... Uh, down the road from a lot of neighboring countries so yeah um, yeah it's really central europe so that's pretty easy yeah so uh hopefully it'll be a good time for all involved including the artists um mm, but no i think yeah. it looks good how about how about you what do you think of uh, basil yeah i think i doubt there's cities in switzerland that are not beautiful you know, it's just a stunning country. Um, so I, th I think anywhere that they would have done Eurovision would have been a fine option. Um, when it comes to the venue itself, I did also see a couple of pictures. Um, what struck me is that it does look a bit smaller. I think it's sort of like a similar capacity that uh, Liverpool had. Mm -hmm. um, like It's about 12,000 max, yeah, I think. Yeah. Which I think, do you know what, when they announced Liverpool and I saw the maximum capacity, I was like, oh, a small arena. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. But that stage in Liverpool was really, really beautiful. It just worked. The lighting was really cool. Um, and I did not get the feeling watching the contest that it was small. It still looked yeah. like a very big arena. So I think it would yes. be similar. It's sort of about packing out the space you have rather than having a huge space that you'll then need to pack out. So get Pack yeah. out the space that you have and it will look, on TV, it's always going to look like a big, huge place uh, with wide yeah. angle cameras and stuff like that. Um, I, I have to say, I, I think one of the things where capacity gets people is more just in their chances of getting tickets. So we might be yeah. we might be a little bit less worried about it because we're not planning on going. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think yeah. Um, I, I'm not planning on. <laughs> I was saying this exact same thing this time <laughs> last year. year yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we'll we'll see what happens. I think it's going to look good anyway. Um, mm. But yeah, that's yeah. Um, that was one piece of big news. Mm. Um, oh yeah. Uh, hmm? You want me to continue? Oh yeah. Unless Sorry, you... I'm confused. Yeah. Okay. No. Second piece of news. You go ahead. Okay, um, the, what is wrong with you tonight? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm confused. Oh, um, second piece of news is we have our first artist reveal. Can you believe it? Whoop. Although technically it is later this year because we had Musti announced for Belgium in August uh, last year. So we, we were a little bit late, but 2nd of September, two days in, uh, Cyprus have announced Theo Evan. Is it Theo Evans? Theo Evan. No, I don't. Yeah, Theo Evans. Have... Evans. I think it's yeah, Evan. Probably... Theo. Evan. Yeah, it's Theo yeah. Evan. It is Theo. Uh, it's Theo Evan. I, I was. I, I even posted it to our like Twitter page, page and I've already forgotten the full name. But no, uh, Twitter Theo. What's going on? See, I'm not the only one that's confused. Uh, yeah, so for Cyprus, it is Theo Evan. Now, I heard a couple of clips. Um, and mm, I'll, I'm going to reserve judgment until they release their song, of course. But I'm not particularly inspired by it what I've heard so far. Have you heard anything? Just 
some very very short clips I'm like I'm talking like 12 second clips or something so from what I don't know I don't even know if it's the same clip that we saw but from what I saw it very much felt along the lines of what Cyprus has been doing in Eurovision the past couple of years which is just like one of those typical pop up-tempo pop songs bit of a summary vibe to it not very different. Oh, I think I saw something actually... completely different. <laughs> did you get, see like a sort of like a dance track? No, I saw something, something where it's like, um, looks like um, the advertising for the Crow film that's out at the moment, like Black Eyes and all the rest of it. Oh yeah, I saw something completely different. I saw a, uh, like a clip of a track of his where he's he's just basically do he's basically doing what um, what they did last year for Cyprus. It's basically. Oh, right. A very similar song, only this time it's a guy singing it. Um, that's what I saw. Okay, now I can maybe understand why you said like I don't know if I want to listen to the full song. <laughs> but it it look. I'll be honest with you. The clip that I saw also didn't really fire me. It's not like I was like, wow, this is good. It was. It just felt like a fun, upbeat pop song. So I thought, okay, it's very much along the lines of what Steve Cypress has been doing. For the cap past couple of years, um, except for um, Andrew Lambrou, who brought a ballad, but otherwise they have been doing that sort of up tempo summary song for a couple of yeah. years. They started off with Eleni uh, Ferreira with Fuego, that was successful, and then they sort of like stayed on the same path. A little too long for me, so I'm hoping that they're going for something different. Although I did hear. Before um, Theo was announced, that Cyprus or someone in the Cypriot delegation had let slip that it would be more of a slower song, oh, okay. or maybe maybe I'm just making that up, but I seem to remember something like that. But um, like, do we do we want to? Oh my God, my earphones are going to be dying soon. Do we want to listen to the song? Do you want to listen to it? Do sure. You wanna, I feel like that was just a clip that we found um, rather yeah. than a video. Um, yeah. hmm, based on that clip, I'm still not, that is definitely not the video that clip that I saw. Um, okay. He was like half naked, and I feel like I remember a bath, something, or I don't know. I've, okay. I've honestly lost track of what I've watched, but um, that that wasn't it anyway. Uh, I'm not sure on this either. Um, yeah, I can see the pop vibes and. The dancing is good, but I'm just not completely sold on the vocal um, or the lyrics. Um, and and some of the production does feel basic, but this is probably self-funded, etc. So um, we'll hopefully with a little bit more budget and I'm assuming Panic Records are still probably going to be involved somehow. Um, yeah, there might there might be some better production in, in there. What were your thoughts based on that clip? Yeah. So that's the clip that I saw. Well, I didn't see that full minute and a half clip. I just saw a couple of seconds on Twitter. Um, that's just what I was saying. It just really reminds me of what Cypress has been doing for a number of years now, ever since 2018. Um, so in that sense, I'm not impressed. Like, it's very similar. It's. I think I said this uh, last year with Cypress as well. I need them to sort of step... I, I want them to sort of step away from that and just do something a little bit more unique. I feel like Eleni Ferreira did bring something unique, not necessarily in the song that much, but the performance, um, her charisma, her style sort of brought something fresh to the contest, but now it's being done a little bit too much. So I hope, I hope they do something different. Like it can mm. be fun, it can be up-tempo, it can be a bit summary, but like something a little more original, but like you said, it, this might be self-funded. So maybe indeed with a bigger budget, they'll come up with something a little more impressive. If Cyprus wants to win Eurovision, 
then they're going to have to step up their game, I think. Um, but this obviously looks and feels like a very, very young artist um, who might have a lot of potential. So, mm -hmm. But it's not an Australian. Have, like, he's not, I was going to say not Australian. that this one's actually born in Cyprus. And I think he lives there now. Um, yeah, so I think he, he went. I yeah. think he went to school in America, yeah. Berkeley School of Music, I think, or college, yeah. whatever it's called. Um, and then is back in in Cyprus. Uh, yeah. I wonder how the Aussies feel about that. They've only got one. Ch so far, they've only got one chance this year if they t if they're yeah. taking part of the game. Um, can I tell you my favourite part of um, his reveal and his press release on Eurovision.tv? because it had me in stitches. I read it wrong in a couple of um, different tweets that went out. I read that he was the st was he star of Euphoria at Star Zendaya. Yeah, yeah. It, um, I've, n I've never seen it before in my life. And I was like, oh, he must be, you know, fairly yeah. famous. That's like maybe, yeah. that might be like Jojo Siwa like levels. Um, it said extra. <laughs> it was an extra. <laughs> it wasn't even. I'm going on IMDb, like trying to be like, oh, okay, what's it? What's it been in then? If he's an actor, and it's like, I'm like, I spent an hour of my life trying to figure out <laughs> more about this person and their acting career. Um, but no, I mean that. He, was, still, he was on there anyway. He was. He was in the still, show. Still a claim to fame. Absolutely not taking yeah. that away from him. It was just the way that I had read it as he has starred in, and it was like, actually, no, guys, he was. Uh, mm -hmm. It says something like the ego eyed of view viewers may have found him and yeah. as an extra. And I was like, who remembers who's an extra of things? <laughs> like, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, uh, no, I think he did that. I think uh, exciting. We've we're, we've got how many more months? Eight months of reveals like <laughs> to come up. So something like we won't that, we yeah. won't do too we won't do too much of. Uh, deep diving into him until we get some of the songs. But uh, he, he seems like a nice chap based on yeah. the little images. He seems like happy and smiley. So that's what I like. Um, yeah, and, it, and exactly, like I said, he's really, really young. So it's that alone is impressive. Like I feel like any young artist, especially if you're, if you're not really famous yet, if, if people don't really know who you are, it's a big thing to put yourself out there and go to such a huge competition representing yeah. your country. So all, you know, respect Zendaya. for him. But, oh, because of you. <laughs> maybe, maybe he did. I wonder if he maybe they're besties now. BFFs. Um, no, yeah, good on him. I don't know how old he is. I've, I was trying to find info on that as well. Um, mm. But I couldn't find yeah. anything in the press release. Um, and he, at that point in time, he didn't have a Wikipedia page. He might now. Yeah. Um, I don't see a Wikipedia page. I'm, I'm checking now. Yeah, even, okay, we've got a Wikipedia page and we still don't have a age. Um, yeah. So, yeah, no no idea how old he actually is. Um, but I've got to assume he's older than Celia Capsis. Um, Oh yeah, well, she was. What was she like? Seventeen. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know. Yeah. Uh, and how great did she do? By the way, I love her. Just um, you know what? How we never expected that to advance to the final, um, but that that performance was really really good. Yeah. It was a good performance. Um, can do we think? Should we do our early prediction? We like to do these last year. Do we think Cypress will qualify for the final based yeah. on what? We I think? mean, this is you. We said this last year when we did when we did um, song when we did reacted to the song. We were like, we're basing this off of nothing at all. Now we're even basing it on less than that because we don't even have a song yet. Um, we've got one artist. We've got one artist. I mean, I, I'm not even going to attempt at saying yes or no. Yeah, no it, there's not. really no. It really depends on, you know, we don't even really have an artistic direction to look into, like. Okay, yeah. we have this song that a clip of this song that we just watched, which, like I said, is very much along the lines of what Cypress does. If it really is like that, then I could see it qualifying. It is something that tends to gather enough televote points to advance to the final, depending on the performance. But mm -hmm. um, I will say I'm going to need more than what this clip showed us. Although I do have to say it does sound like a nice summer pop. I can. 
totally see myself vibing to this on yeah, yeah. a beach, like in some sort of beach bar and just having a cocktail in Cyprus. So is that what you're going to be you doing know. on holiday next week, Len? Yeah, although I will not be doing it in Cyprus. I'll be doing it in Spain. Of course. Um, um, I would love to go to Cyprus, actually. Yeah, I've, well, I've, I've been to Greece and that's lovely. I would Cyprus would be nice, I, I feel. Yeah. Um, third piece of news that uh, Mr. Uh, well, I, I was going to pronounce, try and pronounce your surname, and I've completely fucked it up again. <laughs> okay, third piece of news that Thomas has completely forgotten about or missed or whatever is Montenegro are back. Oh my God, yeah. Um, it has been confirmed Huge. that not only are Montenegro back, they are having a national final. Um, and it's an like early national final. They're doing it in November, um, Montesson. That might um, be the first song of Eurovision 2025. Actually. It could be. Um, I don't, don't think anyone will be earlier than that. Yeah, so we, we'll see what happens. But I, uh, a couple of people in our group chat keep going like, I can't believe Montenegro decided to come back the year it's in Switzerland. <laughs> um, yeah. Which I wish yeah. I get to a degree. But no, I, I'm i sure they'll do fine. I am one of the few people, I think, who was still very gutted that they didn't qualify. Um, uh, last time around. I absolutely loved Ladana's song. I thought it was beautiful. I understand it wasn't necessarily fun or anything like that, but I thought it was gorgeous, brilliant. I want to see what they bring this time. Um, but exciting, we've got a country coming back. Um, we still got no words on any potential withdrawals either, so we'll see what happens. Um, I think, yeah. was it Norway that was deciding sometime this week or next week, whether or not they were going to announce whether or not they would be competing or not. Uh, I think that was Iceland, babes. But uh, oh, it was I've, Iceland. Yeah, it was Iceland. Uh, I've I've got a feeling that they'll be it anyway. I wasn't querying them, um, but no, we'll see how that goes. That's uh, the first real bit of uh, Eurovision 2025 dealt with. We've got a host, we've got a returning country, and we've got an artist. Like, yeah, and it's only it's only the first week. Um, I, think also, it, I do think it's going to go slowly now, though. I remember last year, Musti was announced, and then it was a whole long what, bunch of nothingness until like up until like the first national final kicking off. So, I mean, we might get some names here and there for some national finals. You know, we might get some UMK names. We might get some, I don't know, MGP names or something like that along the, along the way. But... Um, it's going to be a while now, I think, before we get our actual first song. I do actually think Montenegro might be the first one to select their song, which is really early, by the way. November is very early. Yeah, that's before, that's even before Fikmas, So Yeah, I mean, do you know what not so much bothers me, but what scares me about that is if you release a song that early, you really risk people being sick and tired of it by the time that Eurovision comes along, especially like the actual Eurofans, who are mostly the people that vote um it, it might be a good idea to have your artist announced really early on and create some buzz but to release your song so early it's i think it's a very risky thing to do yeah well we'll we'll see how it plays out for them i think um i think even just taking part is a slight risk for montenegro anyway but uh lovely to see them back yeah um, very happy to have them back and yeah hopefully hopefully they won't be going anywhere soon um, hopefully it won't just be a one year on, two years off, three years off sort of situation. Mm -hmm. um, but no, they it, will be... You know, they might win and bankrupt themselves after next year then. <laughs> <laughs> who's who's coming second? Who's hosting? Um, <laughs> that might be the case. Um, but no, um, as I say, very exciting. And I'm quite happy um, that we're back and we can take a little bit of a slow ease into things. Um, yeah. We're going to record another episode, so uh, the next episode you'll hear will be from the same day. We're not just wearing the same clothes, um, <laughs> but Thomas has gone on holiday as we alluded to, so we're going to bank an episode for you guys uh, so that you aren't left without us for too long because we know how much you love us. Um, if you do love us that much, remember, subscribe, like, comment down below, whatever you need to do if you're on Spotify. I think you can rate us five stars. I don't know how Spotify works. Someone check it for me. Um, you can also follow us at Neil Pod on Twitter and Instagram. 
and it's neilplaid.com for the website. I've got a couple of things that I'm planning to put up there in the next couple of weeks, so keep an eye out. Uh, you can follow me at Neil Poir on Twitter and Instagram as well, although I will be tweeting slightly less, probably. You will? Why? Because Twitter is a hellscape at the moment. Uh, Twitter Twitter is always a hellscape. Yeah. So, and you can follow him at Pied Tom Ray, who I as well. <laughs> you're like, fuck off, you're taking too long, I'm going to do it for you. <laughs> I, I just thought you'd forgotten. No. Okay. Do you want to do it yourself? No, no, it's fine. You did it. You did it perfectly. I don't know. I think that might be the first time I've said it right, then. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll leave you there. Uh, we love you guys, and see you next time. Bye.